Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to sideload apps on the Nexus Player. This will also work if you have any other Android TV device, like the ADT-1 or the Razer Forge, for instance. And I should also note that there are other sideloading methods that will work just the same, but the one I'll be showing you today is the easiest, in my opinion. So to begin, you'll have to enable a couple of options on your Android TV device. Go to the main settings menu, and from here, look for the About entry. Once you've made it this far, go all the way down to the bottom, then tap the build number entry seven times in rapid succession. When you do that, you'll see a toast message telling you that you are now a developer. So back out one level, then scroll down to the bottom and select Security and Restrictions. From here, go to Unknown Sources, then set it to On, and press OK. So with that stuff done, you can now sideload apps on your Nexus player. But that brings us to our next hurdle, how to go about getting installer files onto the device to sideload in the first place. The easiest solution to that, at least in my opinion, is to use ES File Explorer. But ES itself is not available on the Android TV version of the Play Store, so we'll have to use a little workaround. For this part, you'll just need any device with a web browser. I'll be using my computer, so let's head over there. Alright, so from any web browser, just head to play.google.com slash store. Then make sure you're logged into the same account that your Android TV is logged into, and search ES File Explorer. This is a nice little file explorer app for Android that allows network and Bluetooth file transfer, and it also lets you browse your cloud storage services. So it should make short work of transferring an APK installer file from one device to another, like your Nexus Player for instance. So from the ES Play Store page, click Install, then on this next menu, make sure to select your Nexus Player or Android TV device. Once you click Install here, the app will be remotely loaded onto your Android TV device within a minute or two. So let's head back over there. Now there's actually a pretty cool app from Chainfire called Sideload Launcher that'll give you a quick link to all the apps you've loaded onto your Android TV device this way. If you'd like, you can install it from the Play Store website just like we installed ES File Explorer, and it'll make browsing through your sideloaded apps a bit easier. But it's not a requirement for launching sideloaded apps. There's actually a built-in method. Go to Settings, then pick Apps, and in this top row, you'll see all of the apps that you've downloaded to your Nexus Player, including any that you've sideloaded. So select ES File Explorer, then choose Open. Now this interface isn't exactly optimized for a non-touchscreen device like this, so it might be a bit awkward to navigate. If you have one available, I definitely recommend using a Bluetooth mouse for this part. And since ES is capable of navigating network or Bluetooth storage devices, there are multiple methods you can use here. But I wanted to keep this simple, so I'll show you the easiest way. First, head to the side navigation menu and click Network, then select Cloud. After that, hit the plus button at the bottom of the screen, and you'll be given a few options. There's Dropbox, Drive, OneDrive, and a few others, so most popular cloud storage services are available. Just choose your favorite service, then you'll have to provide your login credentials, so let me do that off screen real quick. Alright, so once you've logged into your cloud service of choice, you'll have to give ES permission to access your account. So click OK when you see this message or something similar, then you'll be taken to your cloud account overview screen. Select your cloud account from this menu, and now you should see all of the files you have stored on that service. If you've got any APK files or apps that you'd like to sideload, just upload them to your cloud storage, then you'll see them all right here. You can click any one of these APKs, and the file will automatically be downloaded and launched. So when you see Android's regular installer interface after launching an APK, just scroll down to the bottom and click Install. When that's finished, the app can be opened either through Chainfire's Sideload Launcher, or the Apps menu within the main settings screen. So it's pretty simple at this point, but now you're probably wondering where you can find the APK installer files for the apps that you want to sideload. Well, I have a few methods for you, and I've got them all outlined at the full tutorial, so head to the link in the description below to see all of your options. But if you have a rooted Android phone or tablet, there's a pretty quick and easy method I'd like to show you. Okay, so say you have an app on your rooted phone, and you want to sideload it onto your Android TV device. The installer file, or APK rather, is already sitting there on your phone, and you can actually upload it to your cloud service, then launch it over on Android TV. So to begin, make sure you have your favorite cloud storage app installed on your rooted phone or tablet. Then just grab any root-enabled file browser. You can even use ES if you want, but I prefer Root Explorer myself. So from the main screen of your file browser, navigate to your root directory, which is the highest folder in your device's folder tree. From here, if you want to share an APK for an app that you installed on your phone, go to the Data folder. After that, head to the App folder, and make sure to mount it as read-write so that you'll have full access to the files in here. Depending on what Android version you're running, the contents of this folder may be a little bit different. If you're on KitKat or lower, you'll see all of your APK files lumped together in this folder. 
but if you're on Lollipop, each of these APKs gets its own folder. Now the files won't be using their common app names in here, but you should be able to recognize the app you're looking for by its icon. So when you find an APK that you want to send over to your Android TV device, just long press it. From here, choose Share or Send, then pick your Cloud Storage app from the menu that comes up next. After that, you can just hit Upload, and the APK will be added to your Cloud Storage. So from there, just open the ES File Explorer app on your Android TV device, then launch the file that you just uploaded to install the app. Pretty simple, right? But again, if you're not rooted, I've outlined a couple of other methods at the full tutorial for getting APKs that you can upload to your cloud service. So make sure to check that out in the description below. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.